Remember to bookmark NFLADB.com for free picks and analytics on every game, every week. 49ers at home, minus four versus the Jets. Book total 43 and a half. Let's take a look at the head-to-head on this. Neither team wins pass offense or rush offense. They both look good in the red zone. Technically, San Francisco wins the matchup with a plus two versus minus two. But when neither team wins pass offense or rush offense, they're not going to be an official pick on a side. Obviously, great record for the Niners. Losing record for the Jets last year. Last meeting, 31-13, to but that was in, 19, in, in 2020, so you can throw that out. Was under was a low total, though. Then you take a look at the coaching head-to-head. Um, Shanahan wins that. Not a great record, but 56 versus 35. As far as injuries, McCafferty was questionable, but now he's expected to play and potentially even take on a full workload. I think the story here is the personnel. You go head-to-head. Purdy, rating of 113 versus 91 for Rodgers. McCafferty, 14 touchdowns, Brees Hall, 5. Samuel Nayuk, 14 touchdowns versus 4 for the wide receiver core of the Jets. As far as tight end, got the great Kittle, 6 touchdowns versus 0 for Conklin. So I do like Niners minus 4, not an official pick, but I will take the Niners at home minus 4. As far as this over-under total, it's a relatively low total, which would be tempting for an over. And you come down here and you look at um, Rodgers for the Jets versus 25th pass defense of the Niners. But then you got to take a look at the Jets defense, number one pass deeps defense, number one rush defense. So I'm not looking to take an over with that kind of a defense that the Niners are facing. And I'm not looking to take an under on a low total either. So we're off the over under no total bet. Just take the Niners minus four. Now, if you want to look at depth charts, you can click directly on there and take a harder look at the Jets. If you mouse over, if there's any injuries, you can get the detail on those. Jets have had like 14 different quarterbacks over the last 10 years. And anytime you see a revolving door of quarterbacks, that usually means you have a problem with your offensive line. And rumor is that it's dramatically improved this year, but I still just don't think that Rodgers has the personnel or the targets to be competitive in 2024. Bookmark NFLADV.com, head-to-head on every game every week. Hope we can help you pick some winners this year.